Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. This video is being sponsored by EverydayHusbandQuotesApp.com. It is a journal slash notebook website. The company took my dear diary store from my childhood and marriage to personalize the website. Not to mention when I'm creating my commentary for videos, the magic starts here. Now, I like the journal slash notebooks because they are unique. So grab yours today by visiting the link in the description box. Now, honey, word on the street is after episode two, we ain't seen Melody as hot on these social media blocks. Honey, fans thought she couldn't handle the smoke in the city, but sis says she was just taking a break off of social media. Now, Melody did an interview with Crystal, and Crystal has a YouTube channel called Enchanted PR Online. And let me just say this, Crystal is such a gem. I have seen her interview other couples and some of the people from the show on OWN's Ready to Love, and she is always on point. So beautiful job with this interview, Crystal. I wanted to give credit where credit is due, but honey, let's talk about this interview, okay? In this interview, Melody discusses the backstory of her friendship with Letitia from season one up until present time, and the real reason Letitia was escorted out of her Embrace event. And then later on in the video, we're gonna talk about Melody Hope filing for a divorce. But let's rewind a little bit, okay? Now, episode six, which just premiered last Saturday during the kids' birthday party, Melody and Letitia go to the side and they start talking. They're bringing up the unresolved issues at Melody's Embrace event where Letitia just showed up without an invite. Now, Melody says to Letitia, you should have texted and said, is it okay if I come? You could have texted me and then came. Anything with you coming against my brand and what I have built, you've done that for how long now? And then Letitia says, what's your brand? Honey, Melody checks home girl by saying women empowerment. Like I empowered you and bought you out of the house. Now y'all, let me just adjust my wig real quick. Make sure that my lace front is glued to the front of my head. Y'all know Melody was wrong for that comment. Come on now. Melody making that comment really brings me back to when Letitia and her were at that cafe or the restaurant, whatever it was, and Letitia and her were talking. And then Letitia brings up the BMW thing. And I almost feel like that was the breaking point of their friendship. And other people may have seen it sooner or some of y'all may still be holding on to hope, honey, that their friendship is going to rekindle. But it was at that point that I felt like Letitia had finally grew wings to do what she wanted to do. And she no longer needed your girl, Melody. And because Letitia was growing, it put their friendship in a really awkward place. And I don't know, y'all, but that's just how my take on it. We can talk about it in the comment section. Now, Melody also said in this interview that I've never had friends in my life who have had negative things to say about me trying to grow and build myself and then turn around and do the same thing I do. Honey, who's she talking about? Take a look. Definitely, we're not trying to do that. No, ma'am, not at all, not at all. And especially not at my event. Um, that was a big night for me. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, it was one of those things where I didn't want to give that energy there. I had people who I'd invited that were true guests. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to, you know, give my positive energy to and I didn't want it affected by anything negative. Right. But to be honest with you, Letitia and I having a conversation at night, I'm sure it would not have been positive. And it wouldn't right. have So it wasn't worth it for me. Um, right. Even though I ended up being forced to have a little bit of a conversation because they stopped by my room, but yes. um, you know that's that's neither here nor there. Um, you know, I, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. so it was earlier this year. It's done and over. I've moved on past it. I'm sure she yeah. did, hopefully as well. And it, yeah. just, it is what it is. Yeah. But do you miss the, the relationship that you all had initially, you and Letitia especially? Um, the initial yes. Mm -hmm. um, once I figured out the um, inauthentic um, inauthenticity, no. Okay. Okay. All right. That's fair. <laughs> you, know, you know how sometimes you might have a relationship or a friendship with someone and you think it's very real and you think mm -hmm. it's very genuine or you may, you know, feel certain ways mm -hmm. um, and you realize it kind of isn't. Yeah. Um, I don't miss once I found that out. Right. But the, um, the facade, I guess, in a way, was what it was of thinking right. Genuine friendship, of course. I mean, we all spend a lot of time together. All of us mm -hmm. spend a whole lot of time together. Mm -hmm. um, but as I continue to see the um, downward spiral, um, mm -hmm. how low people are willing to go, 
Yeah. He continues to remind me that I'm doing the right thing by focusing on myself, my yeah. children, my brand, and my business. So I'm the youngest of the bunch. Okay. Okay. So I wasn't even in college when they were in when college. They were in college. Okay. You know, you know, the only reason I even met Martell, or I was just coming in, and the only reason I even met Martell was because Martell, he left college for a time frame and came back. And when he okay. came back, that's how he and I ended up having a class together, meeting, and ultimately gotcha. married. Um, so before the show, we'd all been hanging out for about three years. I tell people it's not like we were all some childhood friends and all of a sudden we just eh, at each other's throats. It wasn't one of those kind of things. Um, and to be quite frank with you, um, there started to be some issues in the friendship even before the show. Small issues can turn into big things. Before the show, I literally um, was wanting to see Letitia get out and you know, really make some moves and grow herself into whatever she wanted to do. Now, I'm sure most people have heard Melody has filed for a divorce. My question to Carlos King is, where does this leave love and marriage hunts feel? Are fans still going to watch? Here's what I think, okay? I believe Melody and Martell know how to keep it cute for TV. They both love their kids. And so we may see them in separate lights in their life where Martell is continuing counseling and honey, Melody is being the boss babe that she's always been, striving like she's always done in business. But hear me out. My question is, will all of this be enough? And before I give my final thoughts and wrap up this video, listen to what Melody had to say about filing for a divorce. Are you and Martell in a better place now? Well, I think that it's no secret um, that I have filed for divorce. I mean, that's not here at this point, and that's what it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. Um, it's one of those things where uh, it's nothing I'm ashamed of. I just didn't want to. I've had people ask me about it in interviews before, and mm -hmm. that was something that I wasn't interested in discussing. Um, right. It's a very private matter. Um, at this point, it's a legal proceeding. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing that I'm really... Um, adamant about discussing but at the right. same time I can't say it is what it is and that's that's a fact yeah um, here we are um you know things change people mm -hmm. change life goes on um when I tell you I was in love with that man I was in love with him um he literally got he proposed and I would say the same for him he proposed nine months after we've been dating we got married seven months later mm -hmm. um that was the love of my life um, so I, I, there were no, for me, there were no, um, I guess, warning signs that mm -hmm. this place. I think that's one reason why it's been as um, hurtful and painful as it has been. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, you guys have witnessed the up and down. Like, you guys have seen it pretty much all of it, right? Mm -hmm. the up and down of this entire marriage and this entire process. And... You know, something that most marriages do experience, not all, but most infidelity. Mm -hmm. um, and how that can really pull so many different things from you, from trust, lack of trust, mm -hmm. the anger, the bitterness, you know, all of those different pieces that come with the mm -hmm. betrayal of yeah. someone who loves yeah. you. Um, so I will say no, not any warning signs before. So were, were any, was anything happening prior to the show taping or was you guys were in a great place? Cause it seems like that's what it no. was to us. No, no, no. It, ha no, it had happened. It had come out prior to the show taping. Okay. Um, the thing is, is that as I knew, you know, and typically the women were left in the dark. Right. Right. But so as I knew that was all done over with through. Okay. And so then what happened is when it was time to start back filming a week or two before, and we about to get started filming, if even two weeks, maybe a week, um, then it was, oh, wait a minute, say what? Yeah. You know, what, wait, what? You know what I'm saying? So that's how you guys were able to really see so many emotions from me. Right, right. Fresh again, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I found out about this affair, you know, before the show, started right before the show started um, and then I thought it was done and over and then I found out right before we start filming that it's not right so I got the whole ugly mad mail the piss mail the I'm gonna curse you out mail all of that um so um it, it's just been a it's been a really rough ride to be yeah. honest yeah. I know that when you love someone you're always wishing and hoping for the best mm -hmm. and, and hoping for them to overcome the tribulations, whatever that may be in their life, whether that's mm -hmm. the drinking problem, a right. problem, whatever it is, a gambling problem, 
Yeah. And hoping that they're going to overcome that demon, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, And so when people are like, well, why did you stay for so long? I stayed because I wanted my husband to get his shit right. You know? That's (laughs) real. That's why. And I was led to believe and and hoping that he was. And so hence why the time frame, but then like with anyone, after a while enough is enough and you have Mm -hmm. to decide like, "Mm, but it can't can't give you no more of a time. Yeah. I tell my homegirls all the time, even Destiny and I had this conversation, I said, look, I said, I feel like I had to make a choice between life or death. Mm -hmm. And I chose life. Yeah. See, you can stay in a cycle of something for so long Mm -hmm. that it can kill you from the inside, Mm -hmm. right? And so you have to be willing to make the adjustments, no matter how tough it may be. I have four children, okay? So I very well could be on with one of them very young, okay? Yeah. I very well be on some, you know what? I'm just gonna turn my head. We're gonna keep it going. I got these four kids. I chose not to do that. Yeah. Is has Martel been receptive to accepting your decision? Because there were times in the show where we would see him say, "That's not gonna happen. I don't care what you say. That's not gonna." So he's still there. Okay. Me, I would say this, Martel. Um, I feel like when it comes to him, he kind of knows that I can get to a place where when I make my mind up to cut you off, I cut you off. Mm-hmm. I think he knows, like, okay, Melody is not playing, but I still get the I want my family. I don't mm-hmm. want a divorce. Mm-hmm. Let's move away. Um, yeah. You know, I still get those messages. Girl, he just sent me pictures of us from years ago the other day texting them to me, going down memory lane. But I'm sensitive to that, sensitive to that too because I also understand and know that he too, he's going to go through mm-hmm. all different pieces when it comes to this awesome. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And so, but at the end of the day, it's just still a decision that just has to be made. Has to happen. Do you do you realize that there? Because um, I, you you're very mature for your age as far as how you're handling all this. Mm-hmm. Um, and so many women, I I think I was candid with you before going through this myself. And so many, I mean, most women have gone through. A lot of men have gone through it as well. A lot of times, people blame themselves for their their uh, spouse having a having affairs. S, when plural affairs were not. Um, how did you keep from doing that? And were you able to see early on that it really is a breakdown in the way Martel cares for himself, the decisions that he's making? Were you were you able to see that or was it still hurtful? And did you, did you question, what could I have done, d- done differently? Oh, I definitely went through that piece where I questioned what could I have done differently or what's wrong with me or what should I do better or what could I do differently? Um, you know, But here's the piece that really changed it up for me. Um, I got to a place where I listened to him, Mm -hmm. heard him out, right? And then, girl, I was able to check off every single complaint that Mm -hmm. he had. And once I done that consistently, Mm -hmm. you still continue to make a decision again to put yeah. us back in this, your family in this same situation, mm-hmm. then, okay, it ain't me. Yeah. It's not me. There's nothing else you can say. I've literally checked off every complaint you had that you said was, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And so it just became one of those things where I was like, you know, clearly at the end of the day, when there's a person that you want, you got to do what it takes to keep them. Right. So what comes out of your mouth, your actions mm-hmm. are louder than words. Yeah. Um, and so in this situation, the actions haven't lined up with the words, and that's when I had to go. Deuces, right. How are you, how were you, how will you, um, or how are you planning to help your kids navigate through this? Absolutely. So they're actually going to start family, not her, but I'm pointing because she is. <laughs> yeah. um, so fine. Family here. Um, you know, of course, both of us, we both love our kids to death. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, he's a very involved parent, so am I. So for both of us, we want what's best for them. We still want to make sure that they understand and know, too, that it's nothing they did, nothing mm-hmm. they caused. And then that it's okay that mommy and daddy aren't together, you yeah. know? So um, that's definitely something that we've got in the works for them. Mm -hmm. Um, And even me, like I'm gonna be doing my own individual. So at the end of the day, y'all, it's sad that Martell couldn't get it together. I'm proud of Melody for not losing her voice, for always being a boss babe and really fighting for her marriage and doing all the things that Martell gave as an excuse to cheat from, from 
season one. Well, let's talk about it in the comment section of this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.